Hi, friends. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. Two of you have reached out and asked me how to use this push lock. I think one said they have the binocular and one has the Christie. If I'm wrong, forgive me. Uh, you just, and I thought it would be easier to just show in a video than to try to explain in an email. You pull out and pull up is how you unlock it. This bit here, you see how it pulls out? To lock it, you pull this out, line it up, and you push in. See that? Now it's locked. Uh, and also, you have stated that you've been seeing that these go bad, that the spring in them tear up, and they tear up really easy. <coughs> Excuse me. I've never had that problem. But not to say that it can't happen. I don't know. This isn't the first push lock on a bag I've had. And I've never had that problem. And my mother carried this bag. And I've carried it. I mean this bag has been. We've carried the heck out of this bag. And my kids when they were young. Used to pull and tug and yank on this bit here. And even pick the bag up. By, I don't want to pull on this because it might come undone. But see, I pulled on it and that's how you open it. But they've yanked and pulled and yanked and pulled on this. And I've never ever had it go bad. And it's the same as all of the hardware on Coach. I've never had any piece tear up. The This is the lobster claw, but the dog leash does have a spring in it. And you can see it on the side, not on this, but on the, you know, the long skinny dog leash. You can see there's a spring inside of it. Never had one go bad and never had, you know, I've never had any trouble out of a coach. The leather never cracks, the hardware never breaks. In my experience, I've never had that happen. And, uh, you know, coach only used the highest quality materials. And like I said, I've myself personally dumped a lot of the old vintage uh, New York City bags. Never had the leather crack. And I've never had any trouble out of the push buttons, the turn locks. Nothing. Never had any trouble. I do have a bag. <coughs> excuse me. I've received. And uh, I'm in the process now in the middle of cleaning it. I dunked it. It it came shoved in a an envelope, misshaped, nasty and dirty. It was like someone found it in the trash. But uh, I'm cleaning it <clears throat> and uh, blow drying it. I've learned if I stuff a wet bag and wait for it to dry for days, the leather comes out really stiff. And in some cases, I found a thin white film on the bag. It's probably mold or mildew. But I just learned that after dunking, if I blow dry the bag until it's finished, you know, completely dry, and while I'm blow drying the bag, I use moisturizer, conditioner on my fingers on the bag as I'm blow drying it, and it melts the conditioner into the fibers. And when the bag's done, I go over it one more time with the leather conditioner, and then I take a white, you know, t-shirt type cloth and go over the complete, you know, wipe the complete bag down. And the leather is silky soft like it was the day it was first purchased. And that's how I do my bags. I don't leave them to set wet for days stuffed to dry. I learned my lesson doing that. But there you have it. It's very easy. You just pull out and lift up. Pull this out. Line it up and then push it in and it locks. I've never had any trouble. And just keep in mind, friends, as many fake bags that's out there, the same goes for information. There's a lot of bad, wrong information out there, too, on these bags. And uh, the way you was describing it reminded me of like a Walmart bag, you know, or a really cheap bag with cheap metal that you know the springs do go bad on but i've never had that case with a coach bag never i don't get into the newer pieces 
you know, if you uh, read that site I shared with you, it talks about, <coughs> excuse me, you know, the old vintage coach compared to the new coach, there's a big difference. It's two complete different brands. Stay safe. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.